So last night we heard voices that pointed towards the ship explosion, but no one called out directly. Hopefully, using these names on the beach, where Jones says people see something like a lantern swinging back and forth, we can get some answers. Ooh, it got cold. going to be worse. My name is Adam, and this is Amy. Hi. We've come out here because we were made aware of an accident that happened nearby, over where that bridge is. Two large ships collided, and there was a massive fire. A few of you lost your lives. But we didn't know if you were still out here, if you had made it to shore. We just want to make sure everyone has moved on from this space, that if you were a victim of that tragedy, you're not still here. OK, I'm going to record. Is there a Colbert Bunks here? William Seville or Seville? Leroy Kennedy. Mr. Kennedy, are you present? Joseph Spencer. Mr. Joseph Spencer, are you here with us? Anyone else? We are looking for anyone associated with the Gulf Oil or anyone associated with the Graham. Hello? this quiet? I don't know. I think the two of us are pretty stumped as far as what's going on. This is one of those cases where the pressure is kind of on. I mean, yes, there's activity, but nothing identifiable. And that that's probably the hardest part in all this. I'm not sure if we're picking up like an actual spirit or if we're picking up on um, energy. I don't know. Maybe it's all residual energy at this point, And it's just like permeating the island. This island has seen so much. So here's my thought process. If we bring Chip Coffee up to a lighthouse, he's going to know he's going to a lighthouse. And yeah. we can't blindfold him and put him in a boat. And so what if we have him meet us tomorrow before coming out here, because he has no mm -hmm. idea where he's headed, and we'll bring some artifacts from the lighthouse so we can bring some of these pictures in here and see if he picks up on any of that. We're doing something a little different okay. because where we're going, it's a very recognizable place. And so what we did is we took some things from there and brought them here oh. for you to kind of look at and see what kind of vibe you get from them. All right. Uh, and so we'll start with that. Is that OK? That's perfect. OK, so it's these things over here. You can have a seat yes. right here if you'd okay. like. <clears throat> So yeah, these are just some artifacts that we'd love for you to look at. Yes, and give us your just initial impressions. I just need to tell you this. OK. About what I was getting before I showed up here. Mm -hmm. I felt like we were going on the water. Mm -hmm. I felt like I needed to have a life preserver because I felt like I was going to go in the water. OK. Um. still there. Really? OK. But there's something to do with someone who has problems in the chest, pulmonary stuff. OK. Wanton Chase lived here as a child. When Wanton was born, he had a respiratory problem. It's interesting. Mm-hmm. It brings a theory to mind. Yeah, I know yes. exactly what you're mm -hmm. And a woman. It's more than one. Mm-hmm. One has an M. That says mother. Yeah. Oh mother. my God. 
There's a crash. A jolt. I got jolted. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. There's something with crash, mm -hmm. ship, something. It was a very dense, foggy day. The two ships, they collided and caught fire immediately. Oh, no. no. Fire? Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm being told, be prepared to be very sad wherever I'm going. Mm. OK. Mm. Interesting. It is interesting. A bunch of the things that you're saying, I mean, I can see how they connect. Oh, I can see a lot of it connecting. Yeah. yeah. We're going to take you to an island, if you don't mind, and you can come investigate with us for a little bit and do a walkthrough yeah, and get please. your impressions of the entire space. When you get out there, maybe more of this stuff will make sense to you because yes. you're on the property. Exactly. Love it. Chip was clearly picking up on the tanker crash and even the entity that said mother to us. What's more interesting is he said still there when looking at the picture of Wanton Chase. Wanton lived with his grandparents, Charles and Christina Curtis, on the island as a young boy. In the past, we've seen spirits manifest in the form of when they were happiest in life. Is it possible he's the child figure people have seen? There's a video that's playing in my head. Mm -hmm. And it's a child running on something like this, happy. Mm -hmm. A few years ago, someone had an experience. They saw this presence of this young boy coming out of the lighthouse, running down the hill. So far, I've kind of picked up on three principal people, old guy, the woman, right, and the kid. All right. sitting for a minute. OK. The old guy? Yeah. Spent time in this room. Oh, he did? Mm-hmm. Is there a C involved in his name? Yes. Mm-hmm. Does he have double C also? Yes. Charles Curtis was one of the longest lighthouse keepers that served here. Wow. He's wanting me to say something. I smoked a pipe. You can smell me. That's one of the things. You can smell is pipe tobacco or the smell of pipe smoke. A lot of people that have stayed here, they say that they've smelled tobacco. Oh, hot spot. Oh, it is. Oh, hot, 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 hot spot. He's a tapper. Faces in this window. Okay. 